Hello everybody and welcome. Today we are at Universal. We're going to do Halloween Horror Nights and it's going to be so much fun. Also we're just doing the park during the day. So join me and we'll just have a grand time. I'm ready to get spooky tonight though. Alright, we're walking down. This is open crowd, as you can see, where everyone's ready to get on their favorite attraction. Down there, I can see a little bit of Slaughterhouse Slideshow, or Slideshow Slaughterhouse, which is going to be so good tonight. And we are going to be here for both Halloween Horror Nights and just stay universal, so I can't wait to see both. All right, there it is. You got King Julian coming out. This is just so fun. Look at this scary ch clowns and the chicken man. Horrifying. The first thing we're doing today though is heading over to Hogsmeade and head over to the Three Broomsticks for some breakfast. Because we are hungry. But I can never get over that view of just walking in here. It's so cool. Alright, there it is. We made in time for breakfast. So we're sitting over in the hog's head and we just got our food as you hear the hogs going off. I got the herb roasted chicken which looks so good, so delicious. And Bryce got the chicken tendies over there. Got some grapes and then we both got us a butter beer. So we got cold not frozen because that sounds a little too cold for us. But we are starving. Um, they don't do breakfast it seems like anymore so lunch is. Alright we are done with our delicious meal. I always forget I have braces, so corn's a nightmare, so I've been sitting here trying to clean my teeth, but overall, so good. Butter beer is the best, and I think we're going to go ride some rides now, so let's go do that. So we're actually going to head over to the castle and ride Harry Potter's Daring Journey, so that is our first stop. Alright, we're about to go on in. I um, have to chop off the bags and cameras and stuff, so that's what we got to do around Universal. We head to the fence to go to the park. I absolutely love this room. Oh, perhaps another time. And it's the giant dragon. The point is, this fence is very, very boring. It's also kind of fun to see the different things that they have there, that like from the movies, such as the spines over there from the bird, or the werewolf projector. It's really cool. My and also Harry and Ron cool. and Hermione. Anyway, we thought you might I'm always just so impressed by this room. Just like all the paintings and Dumbledore. I just feel like I'm really am in his office. Dumbledore, this is like the third time you told us. Chill. Alright, and we're all by the founders. And this effect just impresses me every time. I just, it looks like a painting every single time. Like, it's crazy. Alright, we're into the ride as you can see. The Depends by Dumbledore's office, and into it we go. Alright. We made it out of Hogsmeade and on to Jurassic World. Harry Potter is such a fun time. I absolutely love that ride. It's just, honestly, it just feels so magical. But we got here in Pasture Simpsons, which is very busy for some reason. And then on to Jurassic World to finally ride it for the first time because we have never got to ride it. All right, look at that Nintendo Land. That's so cool looking. And then right down there is one of the houses tonight. That's the Legends Collide, and I can't wait to go through it. And then over there, you can kind of see killer clowns. There's so much up here you can see, but I can't wait to go to Nintendo. It's opening up early this next year, so I can't wait. All right, we made it onto the lower lot. We are hurrying, just walking around, looking around, but we are heading to Jurassic World next. All right. So we're in line. Can I just say I'm super excited to actually finally ride this. Like now that we're in the line, I'm like, oh, we're actually riding this ride that I watched so many times on YouTube. So I'm very excited. And honestly, I hope it's just so much fun. All right, we just got done with Jurassic World. Oh, that's so much better in real life than even 
I've seen so much video of it, but it's so good in real life. The rumbles. The only thing that was a little sad, blue was not working for us when we went through it. But oh well, it was so much fun. Now it's on to the mummy. All right, done with the mummy. Like I said, it's hard to film stuff at Universal because I just can't film the rides and my bands get put away. But look how cool it is. It's Optimus Prime and Bumblebee. They're both out. And then next up is Transformers for us. But look how cool it is. Aw. Yeah. Then right over there, we got Super Nintendo World, and I can't wait. It's looking so good. All right, we have a little bit of the All Spark right there. I haven't actually been on the one in California before. I've been on the one in Orlando, but I'm sure it's just fine. Almost feel like it's probably the same ride. It's pretty cool just to see some props from the movie at I put in quotations as you guys can't see, but it's kind of fun. So we just got done at the Willer lot and we're looking at merch for Halloween Horror Nights and we found the candles that smell like popcorn from Killer Clowns, which makes complete sense, but it's a little, it's a little much for me. <laughs> but there's some really cool Universal Monster shirts in here that I really want to get, but this is going to be hard. And I know this isn't even the main shop, this is just a little side shop. We're right by Mel's Dining. And we see one of the houses are kind of set up for Halloween Horror Nights. But there's two. There's La Llorona. There's La Llorona. And there's the Universal oh, Horror Hotel right there. That's awesome. I forgot you can kind of see them both in the same area. I'm so excited for this one. It looks so cool. Alright, we are in line for Secret Life of Pets. Right by Minions, but we're not going to be doing Minions this time. Because we really like Secret Life of Pets. I think it's a wonderful addition to the park. But Minions, is, it's okay. Not my favorite, but it's okay. I think the little facades out here are really cute. Oh, we made it. I am terrible with faces. I have the memory of a hamster, which is weird because I'm a guinea pig. I don't even remember where my apartment is. I've been looking for it for the past three days. Have we had this conversation before? How come you puppies don't have collars on? You're completely naked. Oh, not oh, naked. I'm naked too. Oh. You go find Max and Duke. They love helping other pets. One time, I got stuck in a can of potato chips. And Max and Duke, they got me out. Yeah, I was storing potato chips in my cheeks, so my face got stuck. Ah, uh, good time. Now, oh, pellets. I gotta chew some more wires until I can get this elevator working again. You guys should keep moving. This is gonna take a while. I just, the scene cracks me up every single time right out here. It's just so funny. <laughs> just, he's just relaxing. And he starts becoming a werewolf. I think this is so impressive how just giant animatronics in here, right in front of everyone while you're in queue. It's so cool. And they look pretty good too. Hey, I'll tell you what. What? Let's go get adopted. Oh man, this one's even better. Wow, you probably smell like churros and popcorn. Man, you look Let's see what type of dogs we are. I'm helping the Dalmatian. I hope I'm just like a lab. And also, we better get adopted by lesbians. Here we go. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, close enough. <laughs> Bryce is not too happy about his. There's a cute cat. Look how cute. Uh oh. Howie 
freaking horn nice. It's scary. It's the man of the hour. It's Shrek. <laughs> oh, and Fiona, of course. Price try. See if it works. Aw. Uh, nope. You can't meet the nuclear reactor go. But it's kind of cool you get to see Homer's office. Number two. Price, go ahead. Oh. You, it, it's you. Yeah, I've died before. Oh, uh -huh. you made it happen. <laughs> Bryce, you made the new <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right, so before we went on the tram, we decided to go by Lard Lad and get us a pink donut. All, All right, we got our Lard Lad donut, and it's huge. It's so big. So I can't wait to try it, but we're gonna head towards the tram so, because it gets a little popular by The Simpsons. All right, on to the studio tour. So apparently they stop at four, so good thing we're getting a line now because it looks like that's what everyone's doing. Parking garage, you're gonna see blue tents. Those blue tents represent that they're actually filming at our parking garage today. 
Uh, that parking garage was used in the Lost World Jurassic Park. Steven Spielberg turned that parking garage into a giant mountain. If you don't believe me, look at your monitors and let's show you that scene. Remember, this is the parking garage. By the dinosaur or the Jeep is falling through the trees. All of that was filmed right here at Universal. And then when they're done, they fold it back up and then they swing it back out. So that is called a swing set. And the sets are called flats because they only build one side of the set because if the camera's not gonna see the back side, we don't build the back. Over there. In Hollywood, we make the raindrops three times the size of normal raindrops. Now, this is an attraction, so we want to remind everyone to please remain seated at all times and hold on to all your belongings. We're going to make it rain. There we go. Now, we're using a device called a rain grid. It's kind of like a fancy sprinkler. Look at how big those raindrops are. Now, the strobe lights are making the lightning. No, there you go. And of course, lightning brings thunder, and thunder's coming from our speaker system. <laughs> if you're a fan of Lady Gaga, Lady Gaga shot her music video Judas at this location. We also filmed several movies, including Paul Giamatti's movie Big Fat Liar, starring Frankie Muniz and Amanda Bynes. Now, here comes our flood. Hold on, everybody. to your left. That's where they filmed Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, directed by Quentin Tarantino. Now, if you're a movie buff, John Wayne and Jimmy Stewart are for your tremor, so hold on. Thank So they can refurbish it. Uh, Jaws will make an appearance later this year. Now this area was also used as Cabot Cove, Maine for the hit television show Murder, She Wrote. So uh, remain seated everybody and look to your right hand side. Here we go. First car is American Graffiti. This small little car next to it is from Mr. Bean. Then we have our double-decker bus. And then we have the three cars from Fast and the Furious, including Dom's Black Charger. The police car from Public Enemy. The mystery machine from Scooby-Doo. That classic Ford is from Psycho, directed by Alfred Hitchcock. And the yellow car in the back is Bumblebee from Transformers.
All right, so this over here to your left-hand side is the original Psycho House. Now remember that set was built in 1959 for the 1960 release. We're leaving the most iconic set, now we're entering the most elaborate set. Welcome to Steven Spielberg's War of the Worlds. Airplane that crashed the site set is a perfect example of a set. Oop. Jordan Peele's hit movie Nope came out on July 22nd, and we have reconstructed the real sets from Jupiter's Claim. And here's Academy Award winner Jordan Peele. Movie magic only happens when a team of collaborators, often in the hundreds, work together to take an impossible notion and bring it to life. This is Jupiter's Claim. A nostalgic, small-time, Southern California amusement park owned by former child star Ricky Juke Park. Over there, look into the winking well and have your picture taken just like the kids in that old 90s movie Kid Sharon. That's what this whole place is loosely based on. Remember that one? No? Well, I do. A little further down, you can see the brand new Star Lasso Experience. Built to showcase an unbelievable new live show. It's not looking so live anymore. Anyway, behind this Hollywood fantasy of a gold rush frontier town lies a sinister secret. It is smack down in the center of the UFO hotspot. to the world. So we just got done with the studio tour, and the studio tour is always so fun. Josh, our like guy who was talking the whole time, did really good. There's some new information I've never seen. I'm um, seeing a little bit into the Bear Lair set. I don't know if I got that one on film, but seeing the whole Jaws Lake was crazy. See, train. We just do some maintenance on it, and the Nope set was super fun, super cool. I absolutely love that. So it's just I, I, the train tour is new almost every single time it feels like. So it was really fun. A lot of sets were closed just because they were filming on them. But as we expected, it's a working lot. But right now, it's almost time for Halloween Horror Nights, so we're getting prepped for that. Also, that Lord Lad Donut was very filling. Um, we shared between the two of us and we still can't finish it. But I actually really liked it. It was a lot better than I was expecting. Also, it's like these spooky sounding. Halloween Horror Nights is just a half hour away. 